Hey, hey, Queen City Gaming fans, welcome back, folks. So today, guys, we're looking into the Spire Brute Drones on today's Conquest Unit Deep Dive. So now, I know we just talked about these guys, but a new edition just dropped, so this is the 1.5.1 uh, edition of the Brute Drones. So let's go over why we take these in our army. So the first thing is, really, they're easy to work with your army. They function independently well, they have a great unit profile, and they don't really have to be buffed to still be good on the tabletop. They're amazing and easy to build models. They look great painted up too and they're in the starter set. So most people already have these in their army, especially if you uh, switch tabs with a buddy and you got two sets of brood drones, which, you know, good for you. All right. And the third one is these guys can take a hit and then deal one right back. They're not like household knights to where when they, if they don't charge in, they don't do a lot. So these guys are actually pretty good in both ways, either if they charge or if they don't charge. And I've found that these guys are actually great objective holders and great reinforcement line movers. So they can get up the table, set the reinforcement line, and hold objectives pretty well while still taking hits and dishing hits back. So let's look at the unit profile and see how they do all these amazing things. So in the 1.5.1 edition, not a whole lot has changed with this unit. They're still 165 points. They're brutes. They're a medium class unit, which is great because they can hold objectives. They have six moves. So they're pretty quick on their feet. A velocity of one, but they don't have ranged attacks. Cl uh, clash of two, five attacks each, which is great. Four wounds, awesome. Resilience four, which is great. Defense of three. Pretty average and good. Evasion is zero. Not surprising. They're brutes. They don't dodge things that well. <laughs> All right. But some of the things that have changed are their special rules. So they still maintain flurry. So flurry is great for these guys. Anytime they make an attack roll, they can reroll any failed hits with the flurry roll, which is perfect for them. They have a high number of attacks. It really helps push that damage through when you can reroll any of your failed hit rolls. The second rule that this unit got was unstoppable. So the regiment can re-roll their failed charge rolls, which is great. Even with a movement of six, they're okay speed. They can get up there. But having this unstoppable roll uh, really allows them to make sure they do get in combat. These guys are your heavy hitters, so you, make, you do want to make sure they get in combat and can do damage. You know, they're also good even if they take a hit, but they're even better when they get their impact attacks. And the last special rule they got was Oblivious, which is, I, I find this hilarious because they just took, these guys are just hardcore big brutes to the max. <laughs> so basically, regiments with this special rule receive only one wound for every two failed morale tests, uh, round fractions up, which is just hilarious to me. They're basically too dumb to know when to leave. <laughs> So these guys just keep punching. They don't they don't care about no morale. <laughs> Which is just absolutely hilarious. But overall, guys, these are a fantastic unit, and you're gonna see them in a ton of your spires armies. Not just because they come in the starter set which, you know, is a really good value, but also because they really are a good unit. They're very forgiving on the table. They can take a hit. They can also deal it out. They're great if they charge, but they're also great even if they don't charge. I love Brutes. They're probably one of my most favorite models in the Spire range and one of my most favorite units. And I feel like you're going to love them too once you give them a try. So if you haven't done so yet, guys, Go get those brutes, get them painted up, and get them on the table. I do want to thank everybody for stopping by and listening to me talk about brute drones. Hopefully this has helped you out a little bit. If you are a new player, do make sure you subscribe. I do a bunch of content for um, Conquest the Last Argument of Kings. And we have done some giveaways before in the past for it too. So make sure you keep an uh, eye out for those. So overall, guys... If we have to give these guys a grade, kind of like being back in school, I'd give them a B. They're a solid unit, but they do have some weaknesses. The first, and probably the most major and obvious one, is this unit has no cleave. They have no way to reduce the defense rolls of their opponents, so it makes it really hard for these guys to get through high defense units like Dwegum or Men-at-Arms or um, Huskarls. 
So you really have to be careful about what you charge these into and make sure it's the right type of opponent for you to be fighting. Now, another big problem with this unit is its type. It is a brute type, so it can only be joined by characters with the brute keyword. And if you look at the Spire characters and the characters that can take these guys in their warbands, they don't exist. <laughs> so the only way to really get a character to join this unit is through the Avatar projection, which can be taken by Pharomancers and I believe Biomancers, and it allows them to basically get buffed up and join this unit, which is cool because a lot of their Pharomancies and stuff help these guys go from a B to an A. They can hit harder, they can move faster, which is really cool, and they can really push that reinforcement line, especially with the right Biomancies and Pharomancies and abilities and stuff. You can get them moving like 9 inches a turn, which is great. But I want to hear what you think of these guys. So comment down below what you like about them, what you hate about them. And uh, let me know if you're going to use them in the future. So guys, I do want to thank you for joining me here at Queen City Gaming today. We are just kind of a small YouTube channel, so it would be awesome and it would help us out a ton. If you could subscribe down below, maybe share us with your friends, give us a comment or two. It would mean the world. Thank you so much, folks. Have a happy and safe new year. It's Queen City Gaming, folks, signing out.